All right, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all been? It's going to be another cleaning video. I told you last video it took like five guns to the range. Uh, I cleaned the first one, the Glock 43, nine millimeter. Uh, it was a good video. Good video. I'm, um, you know, just starting this channel back up. New name, new concept, GVG, Guns Vaping Gaming, Gaming vaping guns however you want to put it but um yeah now I'm gonna be cleaning my uh, Smith & Weston bodyguard 380 I'm gonna talk about the aesthetics a little bit before I get into breaking this gun down and cleaning it and everything um, this gun is literally never my function okay Smith & Weston bodyguard 380 never my function um i love it now i had this gun for about five five plus years um in that time i had it they had a um something called insight laser on here um company called insight laser the buttons wore out on me within like the first two or three years i had it so what I did was I um, contacted Smith & Weston, um, figured out that they had um, a, a new version of it with, with Crimson Trace lasers on the inside. So I got the new Crimson Trace lasers, dropped them in there. The buttons used to be gray with the InSight laser that was inserted on this gun. Um, now they red. That's the Crimson Trace thing. Um, Galloway. Galloway Precision, I want to say, is one of them companies, but they got a lot of aftermarket parts for this um, for this Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. I dropped the trigger on there from Galloway Precision, dropped the mag release on there from Galloway Precision. Uh, pretty much everything I got from Galloway Precision. Um, Talon, Talon Grips, I told you on the last video, I really like Talon Grips. I don't know why, I just like them. <laughs> but yeah Talon grips on there i don't know if you remember but i'm a matchy matchy dude right so it says smith and western bodyguard 380 the color of the wording on the gun the stamp is the same color as this grip so i figure i keep on keep with that motif and just you know match the grip with the wording and i got the the red button right there i match the trigger and the um the mag release and everything so yeah um I dropped a new hammer on there, a, a, a better um, tungsten steel hammer, um, new guide rod, tungsten steel. It's supposed to be better, you know, for longevity and things like that. I forgot the company that I got it from, but this is um, like a like a holster clip, a gun clip. You just take out one of the um, one of the frame pins, and you replace that with the pin that they give you that you can screw in. So you could just like clip it on your belt or whatever. That way you don't need a holster. It is a, a small gun. Um, that's one of the advantages of it. And I wanted to keep, you know, the advantage of that. You know, I got I got a couple holsters for it. I got outside the waistband, inside the waistband holsters for it. But I like it better with this clip that just goes straight on the frame. And um, you don't ever have to worry about, you know, holster in your gun you just clip it on your belt and go it's great for that um you know days when you got some shorts on you're relaxing and things like that and you just want to go out and about without having to you know it being so obvious that you're carrying a gun on your hip and everything so that's what i went with um yeah all in all like i said i've put probably about a thousand rounds through this gun maybe a little less but just about that many. And listen, never, never my functioned on me. Not once. Not once. Um, I have some base plates that I got from, you guessed it, Galloway Precision. Some, um, some magazine base plates right here. That's a plus one. Factory, it holds six. Extension, plus one. You know, it's, it's not a lot. It's not a whole lot. But guess what? Plus one, you can't beat it. And these base plates are um, 
are great. You know, I had no problems with them. Easy to install. You know, I got two of them. <laughs> you know, again with the matchy matchy thing. Let me make sure this thing is clear for you. It's all clear. We safe to go. Oh, that's another thing. I put some some paint up here, just because um, the front sights are all black and the rear sights are all black as well. I just wanted to make it um, a little bit more visible. So I put the, um, you know, I took like a um, a permanent marker pen. It's like a, a paint pen. And I just painted that green up there. So it's, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, so far, I'm loving it. I love the gun. You know, it's perfect. I don't know if you can see, but I didn't clean it yet. Of course, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, yeah, great little piece, man. Yep, I was trying to adjust the sights. I got to readjust that. I got this little adjustment tool right here. Um, it's a cheap one. I'm going to get a better one. But the one that I want costs, costs a little way more than this costs. Um, it's made by a company called Real Avid. I'm a... Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of their tools and the different things that they got. So I'm going to keep with that whole theme and get me the real avid um, sight adjuster you know and then I could do away with this um, I only used it to replace the sights on my Glock 23 uh, 40 caliber Glock yeah and um, probably won't use that again because it's pain in the ass trying to uh, you know hold it and crank down with a separate screwdriver and stuff like that the one made by real avid it's like you just sit it on a desk you got a handle on top you hold that and they got a twist rod you just crank it out and it uh is pretty much universal any gun that has iron sights uh front and rear you know you could adjust them replace those sights and things like that so yeah yeah, I got some more work that I want to do on this and, um, and a couple of my other Glocks. Stay tuned for those videos as well. Let me take a quick vape. Cutting more. Once again, trusty Geek Vape. Boost Pro Plus. Yeah, this thing always come in handy. Having a little stressful moment. Yeah, you know I mean something going. Hold on, let me get that vape out. All right, clear it once again. It's clear. Take this thing down and clean it. This ain't gonna be too long of a video. Um, I just figured since I'm cleaning them anyway, I might as well make these videos. I'm gonna start. Um, making some on the range videos as well and I'm also going to take you guys with me when I officially go on my um my first hunt that I'm preparing for right now um just got my 50 cal muzzle loader rifle got me a 30 odd 6 rifle and I got me a um nice automatic shotgun for, for you know when it's that time of year when it's time to hunt turkeys and things of that nature so yeah i'm um i'm excited about doing all that man i just got to get prepared mentally physically and um get out there and get it you know hopefully i can go with my uncle he go hunting all the time so uh i guess he could show me the ropes i'm not really all that enthused about getting no tree stand i don't think i might do the tree stand i'll just you know be on the ground with it you know uh I should have mentioned how, how to take this thing down. I'm pretty sure if you're a gun person, you out there watching, um, you already know how to do it. You pretty much slide it back, lock the um, lock the slide to the rear, you twist this forward around until it pops out. It'll just you know be so easy to pop out. And that's it. You release the slide, slide it right off. You don't even gotta pull the trigger like some guns that you have to uh, do that with. 
you know, not taking no shot at them, but you know, everybody got their own takedown method with they with they uh pistols and firearms of that nature. Yeah, today I put about I say I put about a hundred rounds through it. Like I said, no hiccups, always reliable. Um you know, I didn't even have to put no lube on or anything halfway through. You know, sometimes halfway through you'll notice little, you know, kinks or whatever in the gun. You might have to lube it up a little bit. Not with this one. This one ran perfect the whole time. While I got my hands on it, let me show you this knife. This cool little knife. Look at the, look at the name. I got I got my name carved on there. It's made by uh, M Tech. Or MagTech, whatever you want, you know, the company. Listen, man, it's a nice little knife, little bottle open on in, little spot for a lanyard to go on. Loving this little knife. Nice little, uh, you know, second secondary carry knife or whatever. It's real nice, and it's inexpensive. I got this joint off Amazon for like less than 15 bucks with the engraving put on there. It's a nice wood finish. Nice clip on the side, very sturdy. Yeah, I'm um, I'm digging that. I might have to get a couple more of those uh, as a gift for a couple people. People, uh, you know, I know a couple people really into knives and things like that. Might have to do that for them. <clears throat> While I'm at it, I got my son video over here on the TV. He got a channel called The Beetle Squad. When he played Fortnite, he messing around with his cousin and his sister and stuff like that. Great videos, man. Check them out when you get the time. Please make time to watch his videos because he uh he really want to do this YouTube and thing. It's a passion of his, you know. Understandably, social media is the wave right now, so you know, check them out. He got good content. He better than me now. I used to be better than him when I used to be in my Fortnite bag playing the game. And, uh, yeah, he done got so good. He's uh, doing something they call Crit 90s. Listen, that was the one thing with Fortnite that I really couldn't get down with. It's the building part. I don't like building and all that. I just want to go in there and shoot the guns and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Kill people and keep it moving. That was, that was about it. I'm a, I'm a Call of Duty guy. That's the game of my choice. I'm upset Call of Duty ain't on Google Stadia right now. As you know, Google Stadia right now is my uh, gaming platform of choice. You know. By the way, Google Stadia officially is uh, 109 in the morning, right? Officially, Google Stadia is on Android devices now. So if you only could play on your phone or whatever because you don't got a Chromecast and whatnot or your streaming device, you don't know how to sideload because officially I got the NVIDIA Shield TV. I had it sideloaded on my NVIDIA Shield TV. But, um, you know, it, it don't it don't really play the same as when I'm on my uh, laptop or when I'm on my phone. You know, it's a much better ex experience when you got the official thing from the company, you know what I mean, from Android. So, I'm excited about that. I tried that out at 12 o'clock. I figured, hey, it's the 23rd. They said they're dropping it on Android TV devices on the 23rd. 12 o'clock it's technically the 23rd not technically shit it's the 23rd i figure i'm gonna try to pull it up on the tv or whatever because i done deleted the side loaded version and downloaded the version that's on android right now it still is not up it say you know coming soon and all that stuff so i think they're gonna do a uh a midday release on it you know probably around 12 o'clock in the afternoon It'll be up and running, and I might uh, do some gaming, check it out with my son and everything, and see how it's working out. I know it's going to be smooth either way. I know it's going to be smooth either way.
Battle Star. We use some people use WD-40. I uh, watch a lot of Carry Trainer on YouTube. The guy Mick, he swears by Gunfighter Gun Oil, and it's pretty good. I, I tried it before. All of them is is lube. Lube is lube to me. Right now I'm on that Battle Star. Um, I watch Hitcock 45. He uh he promotes a lot of Battle Star and. You know, when I see it, I just get it, you know, because I'm just looking for lube. I'm not looking for, you know, a life partner or nothing like that, you know, to clean my guns. Just looking for lube. So when I see some lube, I see it's highly recommended by, you know, somebody that I follow or whatever. And I fre frequently watch on YouTube. I just grab it. It's a ballast star. Listen, it's multi-purpose. Make sure you get the multi-purpose. You know what I mean? And it's eco-friendly, skin safe, you know, no carcinogens, you know. Listen, <laughs> can't go wrong with it. That's all I'm looking for. I don't want to mess around, spray it in my eye, and then go blind, you know what I mean? So please, keep all your, uh, your lubing, you know, your lubing liquids eco-friendly, skin safe, no carcinogens. I don't want to go blind because I got to clean my gun. You know what I mean? <laughs> my bad. I was just looking at the video my son made. He over there tri He over there doing flips with his uh with his cousin on the bed and all that, making videos. He's serious about it though. I gotta um. I gotta get him the um the capture card, the streaming capture card. That way he can make longer videos and things like that. It's my imagination. As the old song says, running away with me. I can sing too. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna preview y'all to the singing. I ain't gonna do that right here. That's for another time. All right, getting nice and nice and greasy. Oh, almost forgot again. Got to make sure I run the rod through him. Make sure you get them nice and clean. Now, I don't know how many of you out there know, but nine millimeter and um. 9 millimeter and 380 ACP is basically the same cartridge, just one shorter than the other. Uh, 380 being the shortest of the two. My bad, I wasn't on screen. I'm just running the uh running the rod through this um through the chamber, yeah. Alright. I, see that's the thing that's one thing about putting this thing back together you got to make sure that barrel is lined up properly you got to make sure it's slid forward if it's not slid forward it's not going to catch where it's supposed to catch to get this pin in there properly let me see I believe I got it lined up Yep, I give it a twist. Mm. 
sticking out too much. Hold on. I activated the laser trying to, let me see. There you go. There you go. Is it? Nope. See? Hey, just when you think you got it, you don't. Let me see. Get it this time. Do I got it? No, I don't. What in the world is going on right now? This was like a blooper video. What the hell? <laughs> there we go. There we go. clean now. Wipe them off a little bit and we're good. That was a little talk, a little chat while I clean. The Smith and Weston 380 bodyguard, bodyguard 380. Nice little gun, like I said. Never had a problem with it. I recommend it to anybody, a first first time gun owner. Um, they're reliable. I know you got a lot of new guns out there. The uh, Max 9, you know what I mean? Um, great gun. But, you know. I, I really don't, if I need something with a little bit more capacity, I'll just carry one of my Glocks. This is for them days when I want to keep it light, keep it little, and just relax. Smith & Weston Bodyguard 380. It's been real. I have fun doing this cleaning. It's, I, I just like to clean my guns, you know what I mean? Especially at the Rams. It's so important to make sure your guns is clean. Um, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night.